Hi, my name is Flossie and this is my 1999 Ford E350 Step Van, my tiny home on wheels. And I am on my way to Washington State. I'm Follow your intuition. It was a spontaneous turnaround and I just followed it. I just did it and... Here I saw some free divers, actually some scuba divers gearing up and anytime I see scuba divers I think okay there must be something worth seeing. Like. Decided I'm gonna cook these up because cooked mushrooms will be better to take across the border. And it was quite funny because it was absolutely pouring with rain. So these are a hard earned treat. I am very as far as picking up random strangers on a ferry and taking them on an adventure with you, this couldn't have worked out better. The boys were really lovely and very sweet and had their own tent, so we camped right next to each other at the campground. They had a ferry to catch, so we were off to get that. But before we did that, we had been talking a lot about seafood. Good morning, everybody. I am going to put my wetsuit on. I've got Ben here. And get ready to go for a little dive, but it is blowing a gale and we are in another estuary, but this time back on Vancouver Island, so I'm not feeling super enthused about going for a swim, but my friends are eager to go for a kayak and possibly see if we can see if there's any marine life and I feel like playing host and tour guide, so let's see. Diving into the Wreck by Adrian Rich. Having first read the book of myths and loaded up the camera, I checked the edge of the knife blade I put on. The body armor of black rubber, the absurd flippers, the grave and awkward mask. I am having to do this not like Christo with his assiduous team aboard the sun flooded schooner, but here alone. There is a ladder. The ladder is always there, hanging innocently close to the side of the schooner. We know what it is used for, we who have used it. Otherwise, it is a piece of maritime floss, some sundry equipment. I go down, rung after rung and still. The oxygen immerses me, the blue light, the clear atoms of our human air. I go down, my flippers cripple me. I crawl like an insect down the ladder, and there is no one to tell me where the ocean will begin. First the air is blue, then it is bluer, then green, then black. I am blacking out, and yet my mask is powerful. It pumps my blood with power. The sea is another story. The sea is not a question of power. I have to learn alone to turn my body without force in the deep element. And now it is easy to forget what I came for among so many who have always lived here, swaying their crenelled fans. Between the reefs and besides, you breathe differently down here. I came to explore the wreck. The words are purposes. The words are maps. I came to see the damage that was done and the treasures that prevail. I stroke the beam of my lamp and slowly along the flank of something more permanent than weed or fish. The thing I came for. The wreck and not the story of the wreck. The thing itself and not the myth. The drowned face always staring towards the sun. The evidence of damage. 
worn by salt and sway into this threadbare beauty, the ribs of disaster, curving oh, the assertion among the tent. I think we should only do a little bit more and then this start hitting back. Is the place. I am here, the mermaid whose dark hair screams black, a merman in his armored body. We circle silently about the wreck. We dive into the hold. I am she. I am he. Such a great time. And I was really crossing my fingers for the visibility and the quality of water and the life in the ocean. Coming back with a couple of sea cucumbers and a crab was quite a treat. And I wanted to make up uh, one of my favorite dishes for them, um, which is kind of like a sea cucumber calamari. So off camera, I quickly prepped the sea cucumber and battered them and fried them. And we had them for lunch before More sea cucumber. I'm gonna have it with some bagels. We are, I am, you are by cowardice or courage. The one who finds our way back to the scene, carrying a knife, a camera, a book of myths, in which our names do not appear. We fried them and we had them for lunch before heading off to catch their ferry and uh, they were heading off to Hornby Island, but at the Hornby Island ferry terminal is one of my favorite little shops now where you can get fresh local oysters and oh my gosh, it has been a while since I had an oyster. Eventually, I'm going to get the hang of getting them myself, but I think I need a different knife. What a treat! Oh, you even got some mm, hot got sauce. Some my travel companions, my adventure crew, the people I gave a lift to, I just dropped them off um, at the ferry that they were catching and we chowed down on a whole bunch of really delicious oysters. I do appreciate an Englishman who appreciates oysters. Hopefully at some point in the fall, I will also get to harvest my own. Very exciting. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I really appreciate you coming along with me on my road trips and adventures with me and Siren the Step Fan. Hello! I just can't resist while I'm here in Victoria on my way down to Washington to stop and go for a dive. Victoria on Vancouver Island has some amazing free diving, some of which is open to fishing for spear fishing and some of which is not. Um, so make sure you check out the regulations and rules and guidelines before you go for a dive. But I love marine creatures and I am so excited to get into the water. There's something about being away that really makes you appreciate what you have at home or on your own back door step so much more I am hoping to go for a dive with Sarah Ellis, who is an incredible photographer and has written a book on snorkeling in British Columbia or Vancouver Island, I think. Um, and then I also am wanting to pop over to Ogden Point. Ogden Point is one of my favorite spots to jump in and it is 
really beautiful. The breakwater has some incredible, amazing life on it. Sometimes what happens with very popular fishing spots is that they become a treasure trove, a wreck, a diver's paradise for retrieving lost fishing gear. Here I find several lures, big ones for the big fish that lurk below. The lingcod, But the downside is this long invisible trash of fishing line warps and winds itself around seaweed, trapping the likes of this helpless Puget Sound king crab. I dive down with my knife to rescue, to free three times, wrapping more and more fishing line to let him go. I go down after freeing him to see him again and woof, he is gone, free like the beautiful crab he is.
bedtime. That's a pileated woodpecker, not just the little one, that's the big guy. Good morning everybody. I am in Washington State and it is very exciting. My partner is at a conference and I get to just hang out and adventure. So I decided my first stop would be possibly breakfast. I have had my hot chocolate already, but I think I want to go to the aquarium. I normally dislike zoos or places of animal captivity a lot, but at the same time, an aquarium can teach you an awful lot. And hopefully they have some Pacific Northwest creatures. Um, I should go check it out and tell you, I'll take you along with me. Well, I'm very lost. I am just <laughs> I got lost because I took the wrong way on one of these like it's a maze of different highways Ooh. I have even busted out the old sunnies for the first time in six to eight months I am just wandering around the park. Oh yeah, I fit. Wandering around the park, taking a look. This morning I set out to go to the aquarium some free divers actually some scuba divers gearing up and anytime I see scuba divers I think okay there must be something worth seeing like there is some interesting topography or marine life or access or something like that and I was indeed right and the scuba divers were very friendly and helpful and were like don't dive on the docks there's too much fishing rubble and debris it's dangerous but there's a buoy out there a buoy that you can dive which is cool I did I suited up as fast as I possibly could didn't film suiting up because it would have taken too long got in the ocean the visibility for the first 10 meters was gross that murky gray eerie bogginess it's like brownie green you can't see anything it's 
a little bit freaky, gross. But there were some buoys and then the freedivers, when I swam over to them, had uh, um, a diving buoy and a diving flag and a torch at the end of the line. And I always find being able to see some sort of bottom element somewhere super helpful. So to have the torch light to see, because you can see that far away is off. And so we were diving about 45 feet down, 14 meters, 15 meters. It was so cool. I had a great time. There was some visibility after the first 12 feet, so to speak. And they were really lovely people. Uh, one of the guys was a really experienced diver and it was really sweet to have a beautiful buddy system, to be feeling a little safer in a place that I didn't know anything about. I would have gone anyway, but it is always better to be safe. So it was really lovely to have a group to join. And I hope you all, and I hope you, if you're watching, that you can come up to Vancouver Island and come diving with me. I would love to show you some of our kelp forests and beautiful places to swim around Vancouver Island. such a special and lovely day to end up unexpectedly in the ocean. I was intending to head to the aquarium. I always like visiting aquariums wherever I go because they, inevitably I learn about new species of fish and then want to go and find it in the wild or learn more about its habitat and where it lives. And I want to say like follow your intuition it was a spontaneous turnaround i saw some scuba divers gearing up in a parking lot along my route along the ocean front i was like i should go back and talk to them and i just followed it i just did it and turns out that they told me that there were free divers who had already gone out and so i got to go and join them and make some amazing friends and hopefully keep in contact and do some diving in um, British Columbia with them too. Yeah, I have just been on a buzzy high all day feeling blessed and grateful and happy to be here and the extension of my trip has been just beautiful and we have beautiful weather. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, looks like we have deep within the woods Nippolis officinalis, also known as possibly a honey mushroom, but also don't believe everything you see on the internet. I don't know what this is. Sometimes I think walking in the woods teaches us the most about life. Taking some quiet space and time to be with our thoughts allows you to see more, to feel more, and in this case in mine, to see the mushrooms hiding in this corner underneath this rotting log. Oyster mushrooms, a choice prize. The feelings of the forest. Your existence is a fleeting speck on the timeline of our universe. Don't waste it dwelling on things that don't even matter. Wow. You should dance with the skeletons in your closets. Oyster mushrooms. Learn their names so you can make friends with them or ask them to leave. Have coffee with your demons and ask them questions like, what keeps you here? Finding what doors they leave open. Deciding who to kick out and who to love and grow and come to appreciate more. What must you do in this life but be courageous? Filled with grace but riotous. Angry 
a lovely, frightening, but peaceful wonder. We make change by opening in our eyes and deciding that we have had enough of how things are going and that we will step into something new, knowing our boundaries, knowing what makes us happy and gives us joy, finding those things and walking with them, learning, deciding a book to study, to learn more about ourselves so that we may be in better service of those that we care about, whether it be foraging in the woods and bringing home tasty delights, learning more about what will keep us alive in times of scarcity and need, should that ever befall us. I just gave them all a good brush down. Time to go wash them and eat them. Philosophical wanderings. As wanderings go, I'll take this forest over any busy pathway in the city anytime. Come be there and join with me because I know that you have some amazing things for yourself to discover too. This is the journey, a moment, the quiet, unsuspecting intimacy of now, this very moment. What a victory it is to simply be alive and simply still believe that something is worth being open and vulnerable for. Sometimes all it takes is the reconnection with nature and the delight of simple pleasures of a home cooked meal. Oh God, can confirm, was delicious. Make one small change, take one step in the direction of the goals that you are so frighteningly courageous to pursue. I'm proud of you and I know you can do it. Waiting in the queue to go on the ferry, decided I'm gonna cook these up because cooked mushrooms will be better to take across the border than raw ones. Look at how big this bowl is. Can you imagine how much this would cost if you tried to buy this many oyster mushrooms at the store? I'm so happy. I am really excited to eat these. It is about lunchtime or should we say mid-afternoon and I have been driving most of the day and it is exciting because we're going to get on the ferry back to Canada in just a moment but these have to be some of the nicest oyster mushrooms I have had and picked in a very long time. The colours are like beautiful white, none of the dark brown aging or any bugs and it was so fun to pick them this morning. My partner and I went out with two hiking poles and a stick and a whole lot of electrical tape and taped this really wobbly, sketchy pole together because they're about 20 to 30, 25 feet high up a tree and cut them off and held a bowl underneath to try and catch them. And it was quite funny because it was absolutely pouring with rain. So these are a hard earned treat. I am very thrilled about them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really makes a difference. I read all your comments and a big huge thank you to my Patreons as always. I'll see you over on the community with some lovely video updates and I'll see you all next week. Bye.